The Science of Art It may seem that science and art are polar opposites. What kind of science could be found in art? Science and art are two ways of knowing. Well, first of all, scientists explore theories, research ideas, and introduce new ideas. Hey, that sounds like art to me. In both, we observe nature closely. We imagine and record what we observe. In both, we search for patterns and order. Plus, we ask, what if? Then, experiment. Contemporary artist Robert Smithson was determined to heighten public awareness of man's relationship with the natural world by intervening in the landscape in a series of thought-provoking constructions. Mark Rothko said, To paint small is to place yourself outside of your experience, to look upon it with a reducing glass. However, you paint the larger picture, you are in it. Yet taking a look at a miniature art, you need a magnifying glass or a microscope to see the detail. Magnify art into murals and it's more mathematical transformation. Literally, one must understand scale, ratios, and formula. Michelangelo understood this as he painted the Sistine Chapel. Why not? Only was he a master painter, he studied anatomy, dissecting corpses from the hospital of Santo Spirito in Florence. Now the Smithsonian has a guild of science illustrators with a chapter all over the world, including Toronto. Traditionally, before the convenience of art supply stores, artists were creative chemists. They had to mix pigments and egg tempera to make their paint themselves. Even still today, the combination of colors to make new colors, although not as challenging as the great masters, still requires calculated quantity control. Plus, all great inventors prove the creative mind is relevant to the world around us. Just think of the light bulb and Thomas Edison. People think that art is a talent you are born with it, or not. And for some it is a natural born talent. Yet that does not mean the rest of us must leave it to a select few. I myself was born with a passion for creating, yet my technique and ability are made simple. Now, after 20 years of practice, you know yourself, when someone dedicates years of their life to learning something, they become so skilled, they make the work look easy. So as the artist of your own life, paint the big picture. And as the scientist, zoom in and see how it all relates. Your homework for this week is to find a picture that you'd like to paint, and then another piece of paper Cut a one inch square in the middle of it. Place this over your picture. Move the one inch finder around until you see a spot you like and then stop. Now draw that. One inch square, 12 inches square. Have fun and if you get really inspired, make it even bigger. This has been Creative Tips, Art on Air, Daisy Devine signing off until next week. Reminding you that art makes you smart.